What's up everybody, it's LogicBomb82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated server for stationeers. This is for the Windows uh, server, and this is going to be done on Windows 2002, uh, or 2012, excuse me. It should work on others though, uh, with the exact same methods, so I just haven't tested it. So first thing you need to do is go to Google and type in Steam CMD. If you don't already have it, if you do, you can skip this step. You want to click on that first link there. Go to Windows, click on the download link right here, which says download for Windows. And you're going to want to save that. You pop up a window, there you go. And then once you have it saved, you're going to want to extract it. I like to put it on my main C drive. Um, it doesn't matter where you put it, to be honest. Just extract the data and then in the folder that you extract it for, into, uh, run this Steam CMD. It should be the only file in there for you if it's the first time you've ran it. Then you're going to want to type in login anonymous. And it may, it may download some stuff here if it's the first time you ran it and it'll populate this folder. That's fine. That's normal. But once it's done downloading and you're at the Steam prompt, just type in login anonymous. And then the next step is to type in app underscore update, just like that. The ID number, forget it real quick, but I have it here, is 6007600. So app underscore update space six zero zero seven six zero and then hit enter. That's going to download the files for you. Um, if it's the first time you download it, it's going to take longer than if you're just updating it. But this is also how you update the server. So if there's a if there's an update out for the game, just go ahead and run through this step again and it'll update it. And then when it says it's successfully uh, installed, you can just type in exit to get out of there. You want to go to go back out. You're going to be at this folder still, and then go into Steam apps. Common. And then you should have one that says Stationer's dedicated server. Now it's what you just downloaded. So double click on that. And I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff that I created um, just to make it easier for you. Oops, I just started the server. I didn't mean to do that. Let me close that out real quick. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a .bat file. So we're going to we're going to do it all brand new. So you want to right click on this folder and hit new text document and then I'd name it uh, start server and then get rid of the dot text and put in dot bat and it's going to ask you if you want to make this change to say yes if it doesn't ask you that and it's still a dot text file it's just named um, start server dot bat dot text then you need to go up here to view and put a check mark here where it says file name extensions if that has a check mark then you can actually edit it in the file name which is what we did right there that's what you want to do there and then so the file you just created you want to edit it I like to use notepad plus plus it's free I recommend it what you want to put in there is you're going to run this rocket station underscore dedicated server dot exe so that's the first command right there's the running that exe and then the next you want to dash bash mode batch mode excuse me space and then dash non graphics space and then dash auto start so once you have that done, go up here and hit File, Save, save that file. And then you're going to want to go ahead and run it right now. And once you see this, you should be good. You can actually close this window. And then if you go to your task manager, you should see this rocket dedicated server.exe. That means that the server is up and running. And once you have that, you're going to also see a couple new folders get created in here and a new file. The new file is this default.ini, which is what we're going to edit. So once you see that, go ahead and open that task manager up and go ahead and cancel that, um, that process from running. That'll shut the server down. Now you're going to want to go into this default INI and edit it with your notepad plus plus or whatever. You can just use notepad. And then here's where your server name is going to be. So change the server name to whatever you want. You can change the game port and the update port. You can put a password in. You can put a description in. And then this, you can also put an Rcon password. This is where you can edit it and make the server your own, basically. Remember, whatever ports you have these set at, you need to have open on your firewall or router. Otherwise, people will not be able to connect. And I recommend that you just Google whatever brand of firewall or router you have because all of them are different. So and hopefully you can figure out how to forward a port. That's what you want to do. Okay, so once you have that edited the way you want, make sure you hit File, Save. And then you are good to go. Now run your server again using that .bat file. And then you can close that window, like I said, and just make sure to run in the task manager. As long as it is, you're good to go. Your server's up and running. People should be able to connect externally as long as you have the ports forwarded. 
and you should be good. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them in my channel. I try to help you out the best that I can. Please hit subscribe and like the video. It helps me grow my channel. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.